Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Tiffany and today I am so excited to finally be sharing this video with everyone. I have been testing out like crazy 11 different perfumes from Temu or Timu, however you want to say it, and I have been just wearing the heck out of them and I feel like I've been testing them forever. So I want to move them into my regular collection and get them out of my little tester basket that I'm trying new products in and just finally give my thoughts and opinions about these. The first thing I want to say about these fragrances are that I've noticed when I went to go to link uh, the fragrances down below, there was only maybe two of them that I was actually able to find because what they do is they're constantly moving them. So I, what I would do is if you're looking for something specific in the search bar, I would type in the perfume that you're looking for. So if you want your perfumes de Marly, the Delina, whatever it is, just put it in the search bar and then that will come up with all of the suggestions of what their dupes are or something similar to it. So they do have the same perfumes that are on there, but the packaging might be different and then like the company or however it's labeled might be different. So it might seem a little silly to kind of do a video after some of them are not even available, but for that reason, because I noticed that they will kind of bring them in again, um, I figured that it was it was actually a good idea to do it so that you just get a general idea of what they smell like or how they perform. Okay, another point I want to make, it's not really a point, I wanted to share this. This has nothing to do with this video or perfumes or anything in general, but I had mentioned it in a previous video and I was just really excited and I wanted to share this. So I had mentioned in the perfume video and then there was another video I was talking about the snackles and how much I love these snackles and I just wanted to share that I got two more of them and they're just the cutest things ever so my 40th birthday was yesterday and I got this one from my mom so this is Richard which is adorable it's a little unicorn and he has the Fruit Loops I just cannot get enough of these. I think these are so cute. This one I probably wouldn't use as a pillow because it's white and I don't want to get it dirty. But I am in love with Richard and I'm so finally glad to be able to add him in. And then on Valentine's Day, I had one show up to my P.O. box and it was the bunny, which is the Cinnabon Bunny and her name is Brittany and I love her so whoever sent her to my P.O. box thank you so very much and I, I just love her so much so very very happy to have those and the last thing I want to say is we're back to the perfumes I would not consider these perfumes I would say they are more body mist and that's how I've been using them once I kind of gave up with just testing the longevity of them out with the exception of maybe two and I'm going to save those for the end because they are my favorites probably because of the fact that they're a little bit stronger and they have better longevity um, but basically what I would use these as or treat them as is a body mist or just kind of something to throw on quickly if you want to keep it you know, in like how I do in my work bag and just kind of spray it on. It really, most of them don't last. So, which is unfortunate, but you get what you pay for. So with that said, let's get started. So the first one is this, I guess I'm not going to do the first because I'm going to lose track of the, t <laughs> the numbers. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is Coconut Sunshine. So this is a two fluid ounce bottle. It's supposed to be an EDP. And the top notes of this is vanilla. The middle note is Copra, if that's how you say it. And then the base note is cream. So the first initial spray of when I got this or when I first bought it, I could only smell Play-Doh. It was like straight up Play-Doh to me and I don't mind the smell of Play-Doh. I actually love the smell of Play-Doh. I just don't want to smell like it. So you do get a very artificial 
coconut vanilla scent out of this. I wouldn't describe it as like beachy or even tropical. It's more of just like a sweet scent. It lingered on the skin for maybe three to four hours, if that, and it's very light. All of these are very, very light with the exception of two that I'll save for the end. And like I said, it's just very artificial smelling, but it is very sweet. So I'll save this for um, summertime and just kind of throw this in my work bag again and just use it that way. But it's very, it does smell very, very artificial. You do get the coconut scent though. You get the coconut and you get, you get the coconut, you get the vanilla, you get the cream. That's what I smell. So that is the first one. Okay, the next two were kind of in the same little section and they were labeled as flower and fruit spray. So these were $5.39 each. For their dupe, the only thing I could think of that would be closest to is maybe like the Chance the Chance perfumes or Chanel's Chance perfumes um, because they had, I guess, similar colors. And they have a very, very fine glitter in them, which I tried to kind of zoom in so you could see. But it actually does leave a really pretty shimmery look to the skin when you spray it on your skin. And I kind of like that because who doesn't want to glow a little bit more? And the golden one, which is the one that has the golden color to it, was very fresh and clean when I smell it. And it's a little soapy. It does have like a little bit of a soapiness to it. But initially, all I really can get from this one is just like a fresh, clean, little bit of floral scent. And I, I do like these, actually, these two. I do really like them. This one more I like um, because it's more of a spring scent. And I love, like, the Easter. Like, I just think of Easter. It makes me think of my grandmother. And this one is definitely more floral. It's still a little bit clean. It kind of makes me think of, like, honeysuckle. I'm going to spray it really quick just to kind of, like, refresh my memory. Yeah, I feel like maybe like honeysuckle or something in them. The other thing is that the notes. Okay, so if you're looking for specific notes of the perfumes on the website, then what how I found them when they were listed is when you're on the picture and you scroll over to look at more details, then most of them, they have the notes listed there. Otherwise, you're kind of guessing to what's in there or kind of go by what the original perfume is, if what this one is duping um, to get a feel for what it is. But this one I really do like. It's just they don't last again. They're very light. And these are these are one fluid ounce bottles. But yeah, they're really pretty. I think these would be really cute in like a little girl's room just because they're sparkly and they're cute. And even if you're just going to use them as display. And yeah, so I, I do enjoy these. I thought these were nice. The next one I'm going to talk about is an absolute no. <laughs> and when I bought it, they did a buy one, get one. And I kind of feel like they just want to get rid of them because they're so incredibly bad. Now, packaging is freaking adorable. It's a cute little bear. But, oh God, this smells so bad. Okay, so... When I bought it, it's supposed to be a vanilla perfume. That's what it was listed as. It's one fluid ounce, and I paid $4.04 for it, and I'm so glad I did not. So technically, I paid $2.02 for it since I got two of them. Oh, my God. So the first, I'm not going to spray. The first initial spray you get is your vanilla. You do get a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of vanilla. Then it's more of like I have a, a floral scent to it but how I would describe this is when you have flowers that are dying or have been dead and you don't want to get rid of them and then you go to use or you go to rinse out the vase and that dirty flower smell is what flower water what this is what that smells like to me and this no um definitely not something I I don't know. I don't even know. I, I hate wasting stuff, but I don't know if what I'm going to do with this. I might just keep it because it's cute packaging, but yeah, I don't know. This one is a, a, a definite no, and if you see this, I would just stay away from it unless you want it for the little bottle itself. 
So the, the next one I'm going to talk about is something I really, really love because it is a dupe of my signature scent, which is Lancome's La Via Belle. The packaging is pretty spot on with the little bow and just the design of the bottle. It's really, really cute. It is a 0.85 fluid ounce bottle, so a very small one if that, but when I originally sprayed this, it does smell like Livia Bell. So I don't have the notes for this specific one, but Livia Bell's notes are black currant and pear at the top. Middle notes are iris, jasmine, orange blossom, and the base is praline, vanilla, patchouli, and tonka bean. This to me is just a straight floral scent and it's it smells so close to it i i really do like this one i just wish that it lasted a little longer because again it's not very strong it doesn't really stick around for very long the way that i was using this or i, I will use it is i'll spray the original perfume on in the morning and then keep this one with me at work or wherever so that way i can kind of spray it on later on in the day Although you don't really need to do that with that perfume because it really sticks on there and lasts. Um, but yeah, so just in order to get through this is what I'm planning on using it for. The next ones I have are these ones that they have several different scents for this. So this was very disappointing. I think the bottles are actually really nice because they have like this quirky like wooden top to them. They're just very simple. They should have done something else with this except for put these cheap stickers on there because this is literally how it was when I took it out of the box. So I have two here. These are supposed to be colognes and the one is called Toffee Girl and it says intense and then the other one is Milk Cookie. So Milk Cookie, the top notes are supposed to be vanilla and biscuits. The middle notes are supposed to be coconut and milk and then the base is supposed to be caramel. So this is actually really, really nice and it's very sweet. So if you like the gourmand scents, then you would like this one. And it does smell creamy, it does smell milky a little bit, but you really, really get the caramel in this. <sighs> Again, it does not last, it does not stay on the skin, and you really kind of have to douse yourself in it. But I do really, really like this scent. And if anything, it's just kind of something to like spray in the air and then just get that initial like whiff of it because. It smells really, really, really good. So that one I do really like. Um, and these were $5.39 each. Okay, and the other one is Toffee Girl. So Toffee Girl is supposed to be top notes of milk and vanilla, middle notes of amber, and base of cardamom. This reminds me of something from my childhood that I cannot think of the thing that I was kind of thinking it might be is one of the bottled emotions. Remember those Bonnie Bell, I think they were Bonnie Bell, bottled emotions. Um, might have been one of them, like one of the different scents. But it definitely just triggers a memory. I can actually remember where I was um, driving and a specific area that I remember smelling that smell, which is so incredibly weird because it literally took me right back there, but I can't figure out what it is. But anywho, <laughs> um, it's it's sweet, maybe a little tiny hint of spice. This one is very, very, it's a lot lighter compared to the other one. I like it because it gives me that memory. I don't know what it is though, it's just it's driving me crazy. I was really trying to think of it, but I do like it for that reason. But yeah, I, I was just really disappointed in the labels on these because like I said, when I took them out of the box, that's how they were. So I was a little disappointed with that. The next one we have is going to be Black Opium. So this is not Black Opium, this is Black Cupium <laughs> is how they have it labeled. And this one was $7.19. This is supposed to be an EDP and it is 1.7 fluid ounces. The packaging is very, very close, but you can tell it's kind of like a little silly. Like it's, 
it's not perfectly symmetrical um it doesn't it doesn't need to be but like it's very you can see okay so with this one uh again i was using it as i would put the put the original black opium on and then use this throughout the day i have used quite a bit of this i just constantly use this one at work i'm putting this on i really wanted to get the packaging loader the cap just broke damn it okay so the cap just broke um i really wanted to get the coffee note out of this but to me licorice i don't like licorice i do not uh, i don't like it i don't like the smell of it even like just smelling it like this is licorice but for some reason when i use it the way that i've been using it it smells really good and i don't get that licorice note in the regular one so it kind of works i just don't it's just straight up black licorice to me when i first spray this and then the whole time like it's it's, it's licorice <laughs> so yeah this one this will definitely get used up because like i said i just use it later in the day and i just throw it on um but this is just straight up licorice okay the next one i have is kind of very interesting to me so i think you'll see what i'm talking about this is supposed to be an edt and this is going to be your replica dupe perfume so when i bought it i paid eight dollars and nine cents for it and it was supposed to be the sailing day perfume but when you look at the notes, it says the top notes are tobacco leaf, spicy notes, middle vanilla, co cacao, tonka bean, and base is dried fruit and woody notes, which is not describing sailing day. So, and which is not describing actually by the fireplace or jazz club. I can't figure out between the two because the notes are actually not exactly the same, but this is supposed to be sailing day. So from the color, you would think that it would be sailing day but it is not. So with that said, this one you get tobacco and spice. And again, on the lighter side, but tobacco and spice is what I'm getting throughout this whole time with this perfume. And I do really actually enjoy that scent combination. So with that said, I, I do like this one. I just think it's really silly how when I purchased it and it is put on or it was like in your history as sailing day, but it is clearly not that. Okay, so here we are at the end of the video. I saved my favorite two for last, and the first one is going to be your Parfums de Marley Delina dupe. So I have to say, I am very pleased with this purchase. This was $8.54. It's a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle and it is supposed to be an EDP. It is strong. This lasted on my skin and my clothes all day when I spray this. Now, I've only ever smelled Delina in store. I don't own it. Um, I don't plan on purchasing it, but with this one, I know with people describing it that they get like a sharpness to it. And I feel like you do like basically it just like kicks you in the face at first. Um, so I don't know if that's that rhubarb note that I'm getting, but it's very, very good. It's very strong. I do really like that. That is kind of like really just kind of right in your face. Um, and then I get musk and rose out of this more than anything. So I think this is a pretty good bang for your buck if you're going to try something that is supposed to be a dupe for that perfume. I think this is beautiful. It's this cutest little bottle, so it'd make a really nice gift for any girly girl or just any anyone that enjoys pink and pretty little things. Um, so yeah, even as if you, even to just give it as a gift, it's beautiful. Um, and I really, really do like this. And like I said, it lasts, it's strong. And I, I could not be happier with this. And it does kind of make me want the original one, but I'm good. I'm good with this one. And then the other one is one that is on my wish list. I will buy it at some point. 
I was using it over this past summer and every time I sprayed it on I would get compliments and it just smells so good to me and that is going to be your Olympia or Olympia however you say that dupe and I think this is so cute this is called Miracle Goddess so again it has like a little jeweled cap to it and it's really cute really pretty and I think this one smells so good so this one does not linger as long as the Delina dupe one does but it has like a little bit of spiciness to it but it's smooth it has like a comforting smell to it it smells like cashmere is in there or like a cashmere note it has a little tiny bit of a floral note in there but it's it's awesome <laughs> Uh, $5.39, you can't beat it. So again, this is supposed to be an EDP and it is a 0.95 fluid ounce bottle. It smells good. It smells really good. I really do like this one. Um, like I said, it's not going to last as long um, as the other one, but it does linger. And I didn't have to kind of respray this one throughout the day as much as the others. So with the, all of this said, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing a lot of perfumes from there for a while. Um, just because, I, first of all, I want to use some of these more um, to get my use out of them. But like I said, I have so many perfumes and body sprays to get through. Unless I find something that is calling to me that has uh, like a perfume that I really want that I don't have that's really expensive. Um, I'll try them, but for the most part, I'm going to take a little break from ordering perfumes off of Tabu because, like I said, they're more of just like a fragrance body mist to me. That's how I feel about it, um, and like I don't need any more right now. I mean, I could, I love them. I could, I, I could keep buying them forever, so I just don't think I'm going to be purchasing anything from the perfume section for a while. And yeah, if you're on a budget, I think these are fun to try. And you know, the bottles are cute. Like I said, you can put them in display or give them as a little gift. And yeah, I don't know. So I really, really enjoyed using all of these and testing them out. Like I said, I'm really excited to just kind of move them over. If anything, if my nieces come over and they want one, then I might just pass them on to them. This one is not going anywhere. <laughs> this one I love. I love it so much. So yeah, that is going to be everything. Have you tried any perfumes from Temu? Let me know down below. What did you think? Are you planning on picking any of them up? Let me know. I'm really curious. And yeah, so I hope everyone has a great rest of your day, your night, whenever you're watching. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.